an opening the our hole to get into wasn't quite enough room came into the left front fender of the two car Kislowski sent him in the wall work with him Whoa. there oh and McMurray goes around oh, in front of huge. the field huge wreck Paul Menard is in it Clint Boyer is in it Menard is hit by Casey Kane his car is all torn up he goes up the hill a little bit. He tries to stay off of the 41 car. When he tries to turn down off of him, the car gets loose and spins out. And once again, hats off to Danica. She could have been right up in the middle of that, and she swerved around it, missed it, and uh, probably flat-spotted tires, but uh, she didn't wreck the car. Whoa, oh, Stewart around. around. End up there, end up Bethel. Tony Stewart goes around. And caution waves there again. More cars. Kurt Busch and Greg Biffle, a hard hit there. Oh, 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 no. Spinning and headed toward the inside wall. Johnny Sauter through the grass, smashed up nose, pounds the wall on the. Oh, spin into the wall, Trevor Bain. The 2011 winner had just taken over the bubble spot when he found the wall. Oops. Contact with Justin Allgaier. It, it appears that he and Allgaier made some contact. Got to look at it again, though, because I'm... Crash! Three cars pile up. Bowman sideways. Dylan and Paul. Hornish, the yellow car, slamming into the wall. And we're back under caution. Je ah. Oof. Ah. It, it, it sort of... It's just in that spot. It's, it's what Kevin Harvick was so upset with the uh, Joey Logano about. You can bump me some places there, and here comes Denny. I think Denny dove out from behind her. She didn't realize he, would, he had moved out from behind her. She started to go left, and he was there. Annette tries to go high, and I believe he had a push from behind. Got that tangled up kids, in it. That yeah, it was Kenseth. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how he missed that. And and Kyle, Kyle Larson, Larson in 42, just, just as well. You know, the thing about Danica, Patrick, Michael, Annette, and Jeb Burton. To the top 20. Oh. The restart. Stewart in the wall. And now, Matt Kenseth got bounced into the wall. Everybody skip. Justin Allgaier. Down. That was four wide. Uh oh And Austin Dillon tips Jeff Gordon. Yep. And it's on. Right in that spot where it didn't take much. And as they kept wrecking. Ooh, looked like, yeah. it looked like Boyer started to go the inside and then shot back to the right. And when he did, he clipped the back of the 44 of Sorens. Hard to tell from that angle if perhaps Boyer got. Here. Oh, oh, around trouble. goes Hamlin. Oh, and no. right in front of Boyer and into the wall hard goes McMurray and Jeff Gordon. Not again. No, it's in no, front of him. He had he had nothing to do with it. Joe Nemechek and Biff will get together. 16 and the 34, and then everyone else piles in. Just a big chain reaction. Yep. And there goes Austin Dillon around this time. Will put us under caution for the second time to the number three instead of just step out, step out, and then bam. It's about the most dreaded. I, I kind of think on, someone's cutting that tire down. Hit it again, guys. The inside. They're not, they're not done yet, guys. They're not done yet. That's Carl Edwards going around. He's going to save it. Keep Almost. Oh, my God. Caution's goodness. out. Caution's out. I think. 32 comes up and into David Gilliland. Gilliland returns the favor coming off the corner. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely Piers coming off turn two. Man, that's heavy contact that outside. Hold the brake there. Hold the brake there. Ah, he shoves up into the 51 and uh, trying to stay off of him and get away from him, he spins the car out. Tony Stewart did. A lot of other people do too. Ooh, looks like uh, Tony Stewart lost a right front tire, Darrell. That car just should. 
Whoa. Position one lap down. Cause that or not, could have. As Bain went around. Just, I think it's just a product of maybe trying to charge the corner a little too hard. Slam into is on the inside. The blue car going around. There may have been a little bit of contact from that. Oh, that thing just never turned. It looked like it did a little started to the left and then inside 20 with 11 on his bumper. Just be patient. Check up, check up, check up. Coming down the hill here. Watch him coming down. Along for the ride. He did a nice job. Cars wadded up and they just start accordion and, and when they do it's just here comes Dale Jr. Bam right into the back of the I'm 27. Up, up, keep 13 car Casey Mears around tipped and gets up and over the grass yeah he goes back on, on the, the grass, track comes out and into into the 31 car of Newman there sits the 42 right grass here and oh that's why he nails the back of the 46 drives Whoa. him right back into the 31 across the Wow, locked it up and hit pretty hard. And around goes Menard right in front of Patrick. She swerves and misses him. Al Mar oh, yeah, there around he goes. He goes. I, I think the right rear tire is flat for this. Yeah. It's a pretty hard hit on that. The car just takes off. At, it's got tire. It looked like it takes off exactly wow. like his teammate did. Yeah, Kozlowski was trying to work his way around Alex Kennedy. Not a lot of room. No trouble. Johnson in the wall Johnson after contact down. from Bush. Here they all come. Everybody on the brakes. Chris Busher. There's the start of it. it. Carries down toward turn one. David Reagan all piled up, and I'm curious to see how Kevin Harvick unable to. Looks like Larson started to go the end. Wow, how quickly things change. And there's just nowhere to go. You're running so close together. You're running so fast. We'll catch Ricky Stenhouse right there. Stenhouse hard on the brake. You see where it starts, and the cars go down the inside, and, of course, they come right back up in the racetrack, right in front of Creek Casey Mears. And that banking. The hill goes Edwards. He's in the fence. Oh, He's no. plowed into by Kurt Busch. Are you kidding me? Stenhouse gets turned around. Edwards is a mess. Yeah. That's yikes. Gosh almighty. How often does she do that though? A lot. A lot. Turn and just won't turn when that tire's down. And plus you pick up all. You see right there, they make contact. Actually, I think Tony might have gotten into Dale Jr. And uh, that's what cut the tire down. Watch how close he comes to catching that wall right there. Oh, wow. He may have just skimmed it, but I'm telling you, he was headed for it in a hurry. Too close. Great, you can see Clint Boyer here. Bam, Casey Mears right into the side over. Look at that car, almost 90 degrees. And then Kurt Busch got into Bain, and ah. into the wall he went. Wow. And once Landon Castle gets sideways to the field, along with Kyle Larson and Greg Biffle, there's nowhere to go. No, and these guys have all told me that these cars in certain situations are really, really loose. He'd lap in 30. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Goes up there. We got back. one all the way on the apron spinning. Carl Edwards. Big wreck. Big wreck. Nope. Keep no caution. Keep and going. now there's the wreck. wreck. Three Here cars there. hard in the wall. Big wreck. Keep coming. Casey Keep Mears, coming. Ricky coming. Stenhouse, Walk Jeff back. Gordon Don't around. Walk. Hang on to it, but then oil gets under the tires. Around he goes, and Michael had absolutely nowhere to go. Drove right into him. I there and he got into that white car. I don't know if Wise had to get out of the gate. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes he is. Green and they all accordion together. Right there. Well, Tony, obviously he came down in front of Ricky Stenhouse, but but let's let's listen to him. Oh, but he just spins the thing out. It just lost control right there. The thing jumped out, and you see there, it's just a straight up the hill in the wall. That's a that's usually an indication of a tire. Man, that thing is that's evil. Killed that right back here, and looks like Trevor tries to move up. Yep, Forty six, Lynette. and that was there. Hits that inside wall hard, and and Annette gets tagged by his teammate Allgaier. Allgaier was right on top three, and it looks like Kyle just gets in the corner really hot with that 33 on the outside, and he got into him. Cautions, greed. You see that, Hamlin. That's how Kurt Busch got involved in yeah. the 41. Hamlin had to steer so hard to get away from that inside wall, and Biffle just gets into him, spins him out. And then 
Mike, this will be the first green-white checkered that we have had here in a spring. Oh, 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 Ricky Stenhouse. Trouble on the right front, look like. And there might have been some contact between Brett Moffat and Alex Bowman. I would say. Just went straight into the wall. It's a very hard. He gets up in that real loose gray stuff. Can't go anywhere. And Brad's already committed to the outside. And he makes pretty serious contact with the 34 car. Oh, trailing. And the car goes around. And Larry, I think you're right. I think it's probably a. This is it. <laughs> Whoa, Newman and Almendinger get together. Oh, hard no. the wall goes Newman. At 47, it just wiggles a little bit. And it's just enough to get him up the hill into the side of the 30. Oh, Jump to oh, oh, Tony. Hold on, hold on, buddy. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It gets a little loose, and when it does, it just snaps back to the right. Boy, it just came really and into the wall. And it's hard contact, too. It did a lot of damage to the right. And once you get off the track, you're done. And wow. Went off the course, kind of in the dirt. And hooks him. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, there's in other sports, there's an unavoidable contact. Just gets off right here, and man, this thing comes around and bam! Man, that's a hard lick on that driver's side. And at the end, of the Whoa! Year, like right Reagan there. and Edwards, there they go into the wall, hard. You study trends, they study trends. Oh my! Worry about is uh, you know breaking something in a suspension. Now that was just coming out of turn 11. And uh, Jim Burton, oh gosh, got turned. It's just a classic case. You see that the 18 and the two were running nose to tail. The 18 moved up, the two got down. The 18 kind of came across his front bumper, and once he spins, everyone's in a pack. There's 25 cars in a pack. Cars got collected in this. Martin Truex Jr. in the 78 up against the wall. Jeff Gordon with a good move. 24 of Gordon stayed right down by the double yellow line, was able to avoid it. Sam Hornish, he comes in here. He's, you know, nothing he can do. I mean, there's nothing he could have done different right there. Yeah, the 18 came down the track, Sam Hornet. You see him get on the outside of McMurray, he just gets loose, just got get, got in the corner. Down and change lanes, he just, there isn't room. He comes across the front bumper, the 15, spins him to the bottom, and it's the field very tight. You see farther back into the field, the 16 and the 10 get into the back, and the 22 spinners come across the track. And that's what happens in these tight packs when there's a spin way up in front of the pack, everyone gets out of the gas, and it's so hard when you're only a couple feet apart. Another hard impact there with the 32 and the 38. 38 going around through turn four. And behind him, what is that checking up? Opens the 42 of Kyle Larson completely sideways. Gets down in the apron. You see the sparks where the track bar mount hits the ground. He saves it, but he comes up the track, has no choice but to connect the connect with the 19, who then starts to spin. Brad Keselowski gets a face full of sparks. The 17 does go around, and now the track is blocked. Now these guys are trying to find a hole through, and the two gets woed up, and the three kind of gets woed up, but then you see Carl Evans goes back up the track, and here comes Brian Scott with a full head of steam, makes big contact with the back of the 19. Yeah, Brian Scott looked like he was going to be able to get through this clean. He was accelerating to try to get by the cars, but then up. Kenseth, he never got touched by Casey Kane. They just, he tried to fill that spot. The air got taken off the back of the car, got loose, around he went, caused a big wreck. There's that air cushion that Martin Trucks Jr. was mentioning earlier. They didn't actually make contact, but around went the 20. Yeah, we've seen this. You know, this is the fourth incident we've seen where cars get, get you know, start to get spun. Miss Sprint Cup as the big one's happening once again, coming out of turn number four. Into the wall, Kyle Larson. Oh, and around goes the 55. David Reagan trying to keep hold of it, sliding through the grass. Right now it's a one-car incident. The caution has come out. We've seen this. got together. Yeah, we have. We've seen this time and time again. You see the splitter makes huge contact with the grass. The car starts to bounce. Luckily, it lands on all four and just continues to spin. But we've seen this. The nine goes to make a move, looks for that inside line, wasn't clear of the one, drives across his nose, ends up spinning through the grass. Tore the splitter completely off when it grabbed the grass initially. And then once again, hit hard and up into the air. A wild ride for Sam Hornis Jr. He's still driving it. Look at those hands. Still driving it. Here, whoa, win in Daytona! And the big one happens behind them. Oh, my God. The 
drums going up from all the crew members, and the crowd roars. He runs in the back of the 24, gets up on the 11. Now he's on top of the 50.5, and now it's just a long for the run. Watch the car stop. Watch the car stop. It gets into those poles, and it goes from, I don't know, what, 180, 190 miles an hour. I'm just guessing to a complete stop. That is unbelievable. And it, it looks like a tour. That's 30. 500 pounds. That that stock car is extremely heavy. You see here after he's upside down, the two is, is spinning. Obviously, he's already lost. Starts to lift. As that car lifts, the roof flap opens. The garage area. And, and, you know, 23 on the bottom just lost the back of the car of Yaley. Got into the 98. Both of them went up the racetrack. The 98 ran out of racetrack and gets into the wall. Big impact. A lot of damage. Can that be? Oh. The flames rolling out from the right side. Prepared to do that, but I heard him talking, and it looks like they're going to be able to get all the. Oh, and around goes the 15. Clint Boyer spinning through the short shoot. Also caught up Jeff Gordon. Side, he just got loose, left the corner behind another car. We've heard all day long how when you're behind somebody, your car is really out of the groove. Obviously, when we got in the screen, he's already had. He's already As the caution was thrown, he and Trevor. Bird. Trying to run down Kevin Harper. Oh. Fighting for spots into the grass goes the 88 around. He goes, he'll get oh, so close to turn one wall. And the caught hitting the four so hard that he had the rear tires off. And behind him, there's a rack. Into the wall goes Trevor Bain in the six. Took the orange cone out and hard. Moving into the, we saw this on pit road early. Casey Kane hits the end. Car had some sort of a problem. Well, the 17 got into the back of him. Well, but it looked like the 9 car was slowing down before the 17 got into the Enters turn number one. Good. Sideways is the 41. Trying to hang on to it. Kurt Busch is going to keep it going the right direction. Comes back in front of traffic, and he'll get hit. Much room. The 13 comes down, catches the, the right front of the 88, spinning him around as he goes back up the racetrack. Um, really, no one else. Talked to him. He backed into the wall. 43 just gets loose on the outside of the 16. He's already turning back to the left, trying to keep his car. You see the 27. He's committed to that lane. He gets on the brakes hard, but at that speed, there's just nothing Palmenar can do. He just comes into the screen loose. Jimmy Johnson right behind him. I don't know if there was contact early. As much gap as there. Kyle Larson hard into turn one, trying to check it. Check it up, but he misses share, misses shift. 20 had to slow up. Everybody just had to check up. The guys behind him couldn't see. It gets loose. Real similar to what we saw here in the first race where he overcorrected and got into the wall. This time he just let it spin. No big deal. Comes around. That's the car on the outside of, of you is always pulling air off. And when you have these great big spoilers and you have these rear fascias, the change between. And behind him, they're sliding around. The 15 of Clint Boyer can't afford to have a bad finish. Kicks into the inside wall. Get her on you can. Get her. Track just gets loose. Car comes around, stays in the throttle to keep from going up against him. One car incident that brings out this, the seventh caution of the day. Ten is the rest. Lost it all by himself like we saw Tony Stewart do, very similar. They got in the grass. And they He's actually lucky that he uh, he hits it. He hits it a little bit, but yeah. not sideways. And uh, I got in the fence a little bit. And turns one Ooh. and two, and it turned right, man. Yep. Turn yep. Contact made by the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And around goes Almendinger. And a little contact there. The 55 goes around. David Reagan into the inside wall. Caution comes out again. 17. Way out of shape. He hit it harder than I thought. <laughs> contact made by the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And around goes Almendinger. When somebody has to lift off the throttle, you're going so fast in that part of the racetrack, these guys just couldn't get slowed up. 25 of Chase Elliott got caught up in it. Cole Witt into the inside wall here. Safer barriers on both the inside and outside walls here at Darlington. Loose. You know, that's just what happens. And probably the car, you're trying, you're trying to power up as much as you can right there and uh, just steps out. Yeah, it's, low, it's what the low downforce package is kind of designed. 44. Yeah, we talk about how narrow Darlington is. Well, this is what happens when people have issues. It collects other people because there's just nowhere to go, especially at the speeds they're running around this one point. 48 comes down on the 22. Basically, spun himself out. We'll ride along with Denny Hamlin. See the view that he had. Also 10 for Danica Patrick. Again, Danica was held her line. Trevor Bain, I just don't I think he turned left trying to avoid the three car. 
car just gets away from her. She has to chase it up the racetrack. And Feeling it, Jeff Wiley's trying to get the power down. It just spins around on him. Yeah, that's a bad situation to be underneath another car, digging really hard. You have all the air being taken off the rear spoiler. On top of that, there was a little bit of contact between the two cars, but that doesn't help anything either. So just two After that 17 got into the wall, the 98 and the 7 got into each other. Already sideways and way down the track was Kyle Busch. You see the 25s already up into the wall. The left front tires turn into the right. Even as a young driver, he understands he needs to. Now the right rear quarter panel was shoved into the right rear tire. Now the right rear tire goes down. And Trevor spins. He's got a loose leap in the corner, it looks like. Maybe trying to make a move on Jimmy Johnson. And again, a little bit like Danica leaving the corner right there, trying to lay the throttle down. The 55 comes down to the bottom of the racetrack. The 27. I know he has momentum, Jeff, but he has pedals in the race car. You know, he chooses to, to get into the back of the 55. Maybe not me. Got in the back of him. 78 just got in there a little bit too deep. The 41 lifted a little bit early. You could see the brake rotors glowing on the 78. He was on the brakes trying to avoid him, but he just misjudged how the 41 was going to slow down. That was a big one for the three. Just has a big wiggle. Oh, looks like a little. Well, oh, goodness. Ooh, little help for my friend. Yeah. That's certainly looking like a tire went down there or something. Yeah. Because yeah. it's it wouldn't turn. I, you you see that happen a lot. 78 behind him. He got loose. The 31 was able to knock the three wide. And then Jeb Burton doesn't look like he carries it all the way out to the wall. Kind of runs maybe a half a groove off the wall. Maybe didn't know the 26 or the 5 hits the safety truck. Tight. Oh, there it is. Around goes the four. Hold the brake, hold the brake. Stay up there. Around goes the 47, and Denny Hamlin also involved. AJ Allmendinger, Denny Hamlin bringing out the first. Where the car comes down the racetrack, the right front tire. You can see there's like, you know, he, he obviously had something go wrong. Alex Bowman, hard right turn. It's likely there's a right front tire down. Don't know if he ran over something or possibly melted a bead. A lot of braking you can use here. You can outside of Newman. And around she goes. Didn't look like there was contact there, but could have been earlier. Yeah, I have to believe there was contact the way she turned around quickly. Here comes David Ray. Nowhere to go. He did nothing wrong. Right in front of Mac, uh, Martin Truex Jr. Had to go to the tail of the field. Looks like the 23 of Jeff Burton and the 32 of Josh Wise just get into each other, getting into turn one. Jeff Burton and the 23. He nine laps to go you had said earlier 80 to 85 was our pit window we're just out for the 34 car right brett moffett the 26 car the 34 the 35 they all slowed down in front of you and it's just hard to since then it just hasn't stopped by the back the 88 into the wall do this comes off the corner that's a pretty hard impact i would be worried after seeing <laughs> Two inside, still good there. Pit road. Yeah, I think Kyle Larson, I think when he saw the 18, he turned right. I think the 18 not already had the failure uh, entering turn three and had a big impact. You see him. The 26 of J.J. Yaley, and he's riding the wall. Just gets loose. Carton Erver, quite spin. He's in the middle of the corner, and we saw how loose he was, and you know, we showed it at the one. Up. Everybody wants to push each other. The 78 ended up pushing the 48 so hard he pushes him around, gets him spun out. The four not going. They wreck behind him. The green flag is out as they cross the start finish line. Will they throw the caution? Time accelerator. You see there he doesn't go. The six goes to the outside, and the four catches him in the bumper, spinning the six. But behind them, there's even 95. Michael McDowell involved. Lane stacks up in the chain reaction. It stacks all the way back until the 11 gets into the back of the 43, and you can see behind them, these cars just straight. Eight cars were involved in that incident. Mike Lynette was running 32nd. Looks like he's three wide, and the 98 gets forced 
down over the curb and really just comes up into the side of the nine car. Nothing. You can see the 38 just got behind him and behind her and just pushed her into the corner. She was trying to get in. It looks like a replay in opposite positions. The 10 gets behind the 38, runs the 38 up the racetrack. Chases the 38 up the racetrack and then around she goes. Situation for Danica Patrick as she comes down and the 38 stops right in front of her. Yeah, Danica. And now. As they checked up in front of him. He just gets loose and comes up the track chasing. He doesn't mean to get into the three. He's just, he's sliding up the racetrack out of control in the chain He's trying to protect. And as he gets into the left rear of the 42, the 42 goes up to the racetrack, gets into the left rear of the 15, Clint Boyer. And he was quite a ways away from, as we take a look at Kurt Busch here. Yeah, Martin Trex Jr. basically, he, he, you're gonna see this in a short track. He's on the outside of the chase. Yeah, this is the 38 a little bit and tries to get slowed down and Sam Hornish is coming. They make contact. Oh, around goes the 20. Keep coming, keep coming. Kenseth the round. And Kenseth cleared by Logano. Maybe no. Kenseth takes him out. Logano into the wall. Caution comes out. He intentionally wrecked him. and but Like what happened the week before was more than two weeks before. was more. On the inside of that 55. Contact made and around he went. Once again, somebody trying to start. Allmendinger trying to hang on to that. Car. And him off the top of the rail. Oh, it's Joey Logano. 22 of Logano. Logano around, bringing out the Caught first the caution. Foul. Logano running to the wall, goes Ryan Blaney. Yeah, I have a feeling. Gets in the wall. That's pretty hard contact. A loose, spun out, coming out of turn four. It rode a wild ride in Texas. Road. This is what took place for Dale Earnhardt Jr. The tires stayed up. He made it. House on the inside of them. They just make contact getting into turn three. Heavy contact for both cars. Hard into the outside wall for out of Ty Dillon. You see the 15 come up actually and get into Ty Dillon. That causes the 15 to go around. He catches the 88 in the left rear quarter panel. Really, the first replay, I thought it was the 88 that pushed the 33, but looking at it a second time, that's not what happened. It looked like Clint Boyer got into the 33, got himself spun around, and caused the accident behind him.